All right, welcome back to Channel 6 TV, Community Focus. Glad you could be with us today. We've got Sherry Ballard here with us today. And Sherry, I know we've had you on a couple times before, and it's, uh, it's, it's never easy to have you on because I know it's a, it's a difficult subject we you and I talk about. Yes. But uh, you got an anniversary coming up this, um, this, this weekend, I think, with uh, your, your husband, Tommy. Yes, sir. With, uh, and I know we want to talk a little bit about that and talk a little bit about what's a... Uh, with a sort of update on what's going on with Sherry. And I know it's probably a hard subject for you to talk about, but I know it's one you don't shy away from. You seem to yes. want to make sure everybody remembers. Yes, I made it a goal that no one would ever forget my daughter or my husband or what happened to them. So um, I, I guess you would know more so than anybody, any updates or any any progress or, is there, or, or are we pretty much uh, what's going on? We have no updates. Um, the police don't tell us a whole lot. I think all my daughters are still waiting on a few things to come by, mm -hmm. um, which has been a long time. I would think they would already have that by now, but we are still waiting on a few things to come back on her case. On Tommy's, I think they're waiting on the public maybe to come forward. Yeah. Um, someone that might have seen anything. I just pray somebody might be out there and will come forward and say something. Um, maybe saw a car on the BG. I don't know, but yeah, you just, I, I never give up on getting those answers. Yeah, and I know you've been a. I'm not saying it's an obsession for you, but it, 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 after a while, you know, you you really simply. It's something you it, part of your life fabric of your life almost every day now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Obsession's a big word, and yeah. I know what you mean by that. I'm not obsessed by it, but it is my life. Yeah. Um, I had two things taken away from me I'll never get back. So I guess maybe I am obsessed with it, I don't know, but until I get justice, um, I have to keep fighting. Mm -hmm. I promised my husband and my daughter I would do that. Um, so I will do that. Is there Forever. anything we can ask the public to do? I mean, I know you say if there's anybody seen anything, but... Uh, yeah, a lot of the public, I think, they don't trust law enforcement. Yeah. They're scared. Um, gosh, if you know anything, please don't be scared and come forward. Um, you, can re you can be anonymous. Um, we'll get that information. You can come directly to me. There's another detective that I trust wholeheartedly that could talk to you. Yeah. So any little thing might help us. And I see you mentioned there is an anonymous tip line. I think was it the? Yes, there is. Um, even my brother-in-law, they just put a big sign up on the BG for Tommy, and it has the website and stuff on oh, there really? that you can go. Yes, you don't only have to give your name or anything and leave that information there. Mm -hmm. Uh, we used to have a P.O. box. I'm not sure if that's still there. One of my nieces did that for me. Yeah. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of luck with that. Um, but I'm on Facebook. You can private message me. Mm -hmm. Anything, you know, just any little thing that you think may not be important may be really important to us. Well, I know you've kept this alive. You've talked to media all over. It's not just in Bardstown and Nelson yeah. County. You've talked to media all over. Kentucky, probably all over the country, and trying to keep uh, keep this alive, and and, uh, and, and probably uh, just keeping people aware that they can do things. Yes, um, I mean I can never forget them. I can never forget my husband or my daughter. Yeah. Um, I don't want anybody else to until we find justice, and I still don't want them to be forgotten. But just know that. What happened to them, I think Barstown needs the community to come together and solve, help solve, but it's gonna take some of the Barstown community to come together to be able to solve these. Mm -hmm. Well, it is, like I said, yeah. is a, if somebody saw something, heard something, just a rumor. Now, sometimes yeah. I know I've talked to the police before and they said, you know, a lot of people have information that uh, they think's not important because they just didn't, they didn't hear it firsthand, but when they put the little pieces together, yes. sometimes it does come together and make a big picture. I don't ever assume something's a rumor. Mm -hmm. um, if you come to me with something, we're gonna check it out regardless yeah. of what anybody thinks. 
I could never sleep if I didn't check that tip out just yeah. to know if it's nothing, then I can mark it down as nothing. But then what if that was the one little tip that I'm needing that I'm looking for? So yeah. So I know you got a memorial coming up this weekend. Yes. You know, so that's, that's, it's difficult, but at the same time, you're doing what you can to keep the memory alive. And, you know, if nothing else, I know we've talked about clues and evidence and things like that but prayers are pretty important oh yeah <laughs> yeah i think that's what i need more than anything right now okay well again you know this is uh, i know we uh, it's, i'm reluctant to call you because i know it's a difficult subject to talk about but i know that this is something we're going to keep in the public's keep the public eye because once we let it go then it will be let go and we just want to yeah. make sure that that, that doesn't it, that doesn't you know, fade away I remember before all this happened to me, you know, you'd see all the missing people and you would feel for their families yeah. and thank gosh, I hope it never happens to me, but you don't never know. I never dreamed I would be one of those people. So it could hit home any day for anybody. So, you know, if we all stick together and try to prevent this in yeah. this town, then I think we could make a change. I do honestly believe that. So what's life like now for you right now? I know you're taking care of a lot of grandkids and a lot of, uh, yeah. you're staying pretty busy. So it's, it's um, put a pretty, low, pretty heavy load on you, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't mind those grandkids. Um, mm. They're my life right now. So yeah. um, I don't know what I would do without them. A lot of people say, you know, you've taken on a lot, but no, they've given me my life back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was close to all my grandkids anyway, so I don't look at that as a burden or something I was forced to do. Yeah. I made that choice, um, and I love these kids with everything in me, all my grandkids, so, yeah. Well, I know you were, like I said, you've been very dedicated to doing this. Tommy is very dedicated to doing this. I mean, I mean just about every day, and uh, so I, I, and I'm never going to say one way or the other, you know, if what he was discovering, what he was finding out, but he wasn't giving up. No, he made that very clear. He would never give up. I think that's why someone murdered him because they knew he was not going to stop. And he put a big thing on Facebook right before his death that we were going to go out of town mm -hmm. and search a place. A um, couple of places that we were wanting to really dig into. I uh, had law enforcement backup at the place we were going, yeah. uh, then all of a sudden they changed their mind and wanted the law enforcement up here to come with me and all that. I don't know what that was all about, but we did go down there and check a little bit of that out. I'd like to go back yeah. and just look one more time. Um, my husband put on Facebook that he was going to run for sheriff. Oh, really? Um, yes. Yeah, I think I did remember seeing that. Yeah. Now. He was just so annoyed with everything, and yeah. I mean, when you have a child missing, yeah. you know, I, how do you give up on that? Mm -hmm. You can't. Yeah. It's your child, and you're going to do whatever you can do to find that child and bring them home. Well, like I said, you know, uh, our hearts go out to you, and like I said, our prayers, and we, we know that you're never going to give up on this, and you, and you shouldn't. And yeah. you've got a pretty big family and a, lot, and a pretty good amount of friends I know backing you up because uh, yes. there's a <laughs> lot of people I know that's on uh, Team Crystal and Team Tommy right yeah. now so, and, uh, and Team Sherry. Yeah. So you, you've got a lot of people that's really supporting you in, in this community. Yeah, just I just want them people to know that they're – there is they are what is getting me through this yeah. um gosh if i didn't have all the support from this town i don't know what i would do yeah. but i've been very blessed with that and i appreciate that more than they know yeah well like i said we we'll never forget and that's why we want to do these and just let people keep it fresh in the public's mind that there's always even though as time passes by there's still sometimes something that people know that they may not even know they know yeah. or may have heard or something they think is irrelevant but uh may make a difference and we want to do the best we can to try to as you said bring justice or bring some sort of closure to this that uh, it doesn't bring anybody back but at least it uh no maybe it, it doesn't bring anybody back and you know i know that yeah. um but just to know that their death was not for no reason at all um yeah. 
I mean, with Crystal, we don't even know where she's at still. Yeah. So we need to bring her home and yeah. put her beside her daddy. Well, like I said, God bless you. I know it's been a tough time for you, and you've held up. But I, and how you've held up, I mm -hmm. think sometimes we all wonder ourselves. But again, you've got a good support system, and thank God for I that. Did. A lot of tears, a lot of hugs, <laughs> a lot of prayers, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get through this, and I am going to still fight for my husband and my daughter as always, and. Hopefully okay. one day I'll get the answers that I need. And if you get those answers or have any more things you want to let on, you can come back to us and we'll be more than happy to get out to the public and let Thank them know you. what's going on. So, yeah, we want to keep this going and, as you said, find justice and find some answers. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sherry Ballard that. here, appreciate it. We thought about Tommy Ballard, Crystal Rogers, you know, the been missing and murders over the last several years. And uh, Sherry's been through a rough time and we appreciate, like I said, and our and I know the community has been strongly behind you, and uh, yeah. we just you have our prayers and best wishes for you. For what, what can Thank happen? Thank you. We're going to have a prayer service for my husband. I was kind of debating on what to do, and it's just going to be a very, very hard day for me that yeah. day. But we are going to have just a regular prayer service at St. Thomas uh, Sunday at 7. Mm -hmm. That's when me and Tommy attended Mass. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to, and we are inviting the public if they want to come and show some support, so. Okay. Well, like I said, I know the public is supporting you. I know that's not always necessary there in person, but uh, yeah. I've never known of a soul yet that's not, not interested in this and hoping, that, uh, hoping for all the best. So uh, you just never know. No, and I still have people come up to me and ask for a hug, and yeah. I want to thank them for that. Yeah, well, we, well again, you know, we just, uh, Hope for the best and just to hope what happens. Yeah. Uh, and that's said, it's a community thing. Hope the community can come together. And I don't know whether it's a, how you heal, but uh, we just do our best through prayer and, yeah. and friendship or whatever we can do. A day at a time and yeah. lots of friends. One day at a time. <laughs> and you family, doing, right? yes. All right. Well, Sherry, thank you for being here. Thank and, uh, you. And again, we'll stay, we'll stay in touch. And uh, anything you need from us, we'll, we'll, we'll be here for you. Well, thank you. All right, stick around. A lot more to come mm -hmm. here on Community Focus. We'll be right back.